U.S. government officials have confirmed there's been a cyber attack on the U.S. Justice Department. The secretive group Anonymous apparently were the ones who took over the site belonging to the U.S. Sentencing Commission. Once they had control, the group posted a message on the site. It threatened embarrassing disclosures about the Justice Department unless federal prosecutors, prosecutors stop going after hackers. CNN's Emily Schmidt is following the story for us. Emily, what exactly are officials saying about the attack? Well, Miguel, this early morning move from the Hackers Anonymous has now prompted the U.S. government to react this afternoon. We have a new status update for you from the United States Sentencing Commission. It says early this morning the commission's website was hacked and defaced. The site was quickly pulled down and currently is being restored. The commission's working to have the site fully functional, secure, and accessible as soon as possible. Now, this is what the website looked like earlier in the day. As Anonymous said, it was declaring war on the U.S. government by targeting this website. It contained a long war warning threatening to release some sensitive information about the Department of Justice in what it calls warheads. Those warheads are named after the Supreme Court justices. Now, you may never have spent time browsing ussc.gov, but Anonymous says the selection was very intentional in calling it symbolic, targeting the very agency it believes has unfairly targeted hackers. Earlier today, the FBI responded through its executive assistant director of the Criminal Cyber Response and Services Branch. That's Richard, Richard McFeely, and he says, we were aware as soon as it happened. We're handling it as a criminal investigation. We're always concerned when someone illegally accesses another person's or government agency's network. And Anonymous included a YouTube video along with its message just to underscore the message it was trying to get out. Miguel. Yeah, concerning, obviously, because the government takes so many measures to, to prevent this sort of attack from yeah. happening. This, this group, Anonymous, is known for being motivated for a variety of reasons. What, what sparked this attack? This attack, Anonymous says, was sparked by the death of an Internet activist named Aaron Swartz. He committed suicide two weeks ago. And something interesting about him, he had really pushed the boundaries of the Internet. A lot of things like RSS feeds that people considered beneficial, but then also trying to really push the line on Internet privacy. It landed him facing federal uh, charges for computer fraud. Could have landed him in jail as much as 35 years. This was a 26-year-old. His family says that those charges drew him to uh, commit suicide, drove him to commit suicide, and Anonymous says mm. that was really the final tipping point for them. It's why they are doing something they're calling Operation Last Resort. Is it just bluster, or do they have a real threat here? That's what's being tried to be figured out right now. Miguel? Emily Schmidt, thank you very much. Mm -hmm.